now hiring. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, so this you know, man is a striker, like Chris making talk. his amateur debut. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 164.5 pounds. Fighting out of Lawrence Fight Club, by way of Lawrence, Kansas, please welcome Arlo Collier. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a striker, also making his amateur debut. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of danger fire by way of Topeka, Kansas. Please welcome Colin Best. All right, Colin Best. You're a referee versus Arlo in charge of the action, Kevin Champion. Really excited for these youngsters. This is just the beginning for them. Uh, I think this is something that they're both interested in pursuing further. So for them to get involved at this at this stage is uh, the sky's the limit for both of them. Yeah, and, I, and, and you're not biased at all, are you, Zach? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I just want them both to come out safe and uh, and uh, get good experience. It's just, like I said, just the beginning for both of them. So, Arlo opened up, feeling out with some uh, calf kicks and then working good hands, boxing upstairs. Yeah, they're going ahead, stepping right into the pocket. Yeah. Arlo, a very measured pace. Didn't see some in and out movement coming from Colin. It seems like Damon Reed athletes seem to come in pretty good shape, so I got to think the cardio is going to be there for Colin as well. Yeah, Arlo, Arlo coming out a little bit flat footed, but definitely yeah. walking forward, though. Well, he's got a good hook, though. I'm looking at he's hitting, he's hitting upstairs, you know, setting up with the jab and then a, a solid right hook. Solid two down the middle. Oh, and there's a good jab to the body. Ooh, Ooh now right, pieces right, out. Right, Colin right, caught right clean, but Arlo fought out of it. That's that's great work. You can't ask for more than that. Got his knock beef macked out and then fought forward through it. Great work yeah, Colin, by both athletes. Colin caught Arlo with a great shot, and Arlo was uh, coming in, came in hot after that. Exactly. Kind of woke him up, it uh -huh. seemed like. It yeah. like it. Yeah, he's, he's feeling it now. He smells blood in the water. He saw he kind of took a knee there right at the end. But Arlo right back on the pressure. Colin doing a good job working that jab, keeping, a, keeping the distance. Colin's still boxing smart, though, using that jab, like you said, using the, maintaining the distance. And nice levels, too. I mean, hitting to the body, hitting upstairs. You know, that's, that's kind of daunting. Colin returns with his own down low and up hot. Man, these guys are starting pretty aggressively for a round one. Yeah, they're, they're throwing. Yeah, that might be youth right there. Yeah. <laughs> Arlo's, Arlo's got some heavy hands. Yeah, I, you know, both, honestly. Like, yeah. oh, seem yeah. to be connecting pretty well. They're both hitting hard. Yeah, I like the cover up there by Colin, but Arlo definitely the aggressor working that body, digging a hook to the ribs. Yeah, a lot of pressure out of Arlo. You know, he he's comfortable bullying him in there, which is... I got to imagine that's kind of the experience with sparring with, with grown men. <laughs> yeah. I'd say Colin get, is getting the better end down the pipe with the straight punches, and, uh, and Arlo's catching the heavy hooks. Yeah, those hooks, though, you know, definitely doing damage. You know, we got a, a, a mouthpiece knocked out. I mean, once again, we got to remind our viewers this isn't being judged, but, you know, could you say who had round one? That, that's a really close one. It's, it's hard to say at this point. Um, like I said, Colin was, was doing some smart boxing and staying, staying active with that jab and moving around, but it was Arlo pushing forward with the pressure. Yeah, and, you know, I really like that moment where, you know, Colin caught him clean with a straight uh, right right down the pipe, knocked his, his mouthpiece out. And a lot of guys, that's, that's going to get in your head a little bit, but instead of getting shook, Arlo fought forward, battled back, and I think, maybe I missed it, but I think Colin took a knee there for a second. So, I don't know, I might have a slight edge for Arlo in round one, but both gents are coming out swinging. I mean, for as young as these are, this is a great fight. Yeah, great, great start. I'd like to see a little bit more working of the legs. I mean, I know initially maybe this was slated for boxing. They're dressed in kickboxing gear. We saw a feeling out shot of a calf kick by, by Arlo, but man, that just, you know, interrupts your whole rhythm when you can get those teeps up the middle or yeah. kicks on the legs, you know, like just. Well, I wonder if they just, they were both mostly preparing for boxing, so they're just kind of in boxing mode. Right, right. Yeah. It has mostly been hands. Yeah, back Colin, to it with the straights and hooks. Colin coming out with a little bit more pressure this time. Not, yeah. Not wanting to be backed up, it looks like. Good cover. Yeah, there's those hooks we were talking about with Arlo. And as you said, you know, Colin in the pink shorts coming out, firing those good straights. 
And interesting, uh, Arlo's coming out in the south. Oh. Ball stance. Colin caught. stuns him, drops him down. He's going to get the count real quick. Caught Colin. Colin caught him with a good straight punch. Like I said, down the pipe, he seems to be getting the better. Arlo's ready. You know, he's ready to jump back in there. But, yeah, definitely a knockdown. So, giving Colin an edge in this one momentarily. I can see Arlo wanting to get back in with some aggression here. That's, there he goes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he definitely responds with aggression when, when under a fire, which I like that wow. in a fighter. Catching him with Ooh, look heavy, at that. Driving him shots. back with some dangerous hooks. Looks like he's trying to get that knockdown back on the other side. There you go. Good shot to the body. Nice in and out range movement there. Good exchanges. Arlo's dropping his hands a little bit lower than I would like. Yeah, you can hear the corners calling for Colin to go straight again. You know, they know that he's working those hooks, so. Yeah, the straight punches are what's landing for Colin. Yeah, but Arlo, I mean, definitely kind of being the bully in there, so. Yep. It's, we got to fight. This is great. Absolutely. Ooh, there's that straight right again upstairs. Let's see if he battles back. This is where Arlo tends to respond. Colin fighting a very measured pace. You can see, like, uh, you know, at the end of round two, both fighters kind of slowed a little bit, but big finish here. Yeah, Arlo I, trying to finish this round strong. Colin nice shots to the body. Colin coming back. Good finish. Good finish. I like that. Uh, we got yeah. one more round for these fellas. Yeah, I talked to my athletes about, you know, you, the judges typically remember beginnings and endings. Yeah. So that's one of the things I always hammer is like, hey, we got to have a big moment in there, but you win the start and you win the end of the round. And I like seeing that action at the end of, as they come out. Absolutely. Come out strong, finish strong. That's the way, way to win the round. Yeah. A lot of encouragement coming over from Cantrell and Collins Corner. And I see Wayman coaching Arlo over there at LFC. Yeah. Wayman, a pretty dangerous boxer himself. I've watched that guy a few times. Absolutely. Wayman's, Wayman's dangerous. All of, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, MMA, he does a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. What well, looks good. I mean, both camps come ready. And uh, the fact, like I said, I mean, I can't stress enough. It's 17 getting in here. I mean, that's incredible courage. I mean, it's just a different breed of kids that are coming up these days, man. Absolutely. You know, these, these kids that are exposed to jujitsu and and uh, and kickboxing and all that stuff and mixed martial arts that you know at a, at a really young age are starting to. They're gonna, they're probably all going to make us look bad who had fights before. Round three, <laughs> well, you know, up. it doesn't take much to make me look bad in the ring. <laughs> 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 all right, going back upstairs is Arlo. Colin wobbled just a little bit there. I'm expecting quite a bit of action this round. They're starting off a little cautious. Ooh, good straight. But I expect fully expect them to pick it up. They know this is the last round. Yeah, Colin driving to the body. Arlo still walking forward, but man, Colin's starting to turn it up here in round three. Good counter. Arlo's got him back wow. to the corner. Colin battling his way out. Starting to brawl a little bit. A little bit. I mean, I'm still seeing some shots to the body, which I like. I think it's pretty good. I'd, yeah, I'd say technical brawling. They look good. Yeah, I mean, Arlo definitely working kind of a bully, yeah. bullying style, yep. you know, which is very daunting. It's just constant pressure. But Colin very measured with that straight. Another straight shot Yeah, from Colin. Arlo, big, big swings upstairs. Again, you know, w whether it was slated for kickboxing or boxing, it has turned into a boxing match. Mouthpiece another, comes another out again. Out. That's two times Arlo's drop it. Yep, commissioner's giving him a warning. He'll take a point away, even though we're not scoring. There's, there's it's good no to point. know. <laughs> it's still good to know. You don't want to be spitting that mouthpiece out. But yeah, that's, if this was getting scored, I, you know, we run a tight ship over here. Good uppercut to lead in the come forward pressure. Call your battles forward and wow. yeah. Big, big shots at the end of the third round here. Good uppercuts. I mean, both these guys put it all out there, all on the line. Nice distance and range control. Here we go, 10 seconds. Who wants it? Who's going to end it? Arlo coming forward. Big hooks going upstairs. There's the straight. Final push, and that's going to end it for us. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Uh, Great that's, fight. That's the best the best outcome, seeing these guys get to go all three rounds, getting as much experience out of this as possible. Oh like, my gosh. like we were talking about, there's, there's no winner declared here. It is just an exhibition. So it's all about them soaking up the experience and getting as much out of it as possible. And I think that went 
I thought went about as perfect as it can go, in my opinion. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, both had to like find their own moments of, of adversity. There was a knockdown in each. You know, we had the mouthpiece come out, the little warning. I mean, this is just experience that stacks up. And at 17, I mean, come check back when these guys are 25. Absolutely. You know, see where, see where they're at then and, and right. going and doing this in front of a live audience. Hats off to both of them. Great work, gentlemen. Caught a little sprinkles in there, too. So Couple. battling under the elements. Hopefully the weather holds off and we're, we're good to go. Yeah, hopefully that's it for it. Just a few sprinkles we can handle. No, yeah. Hopefully no more than that. Yeah, right. You know. Well, we want to give a, a shout out again to a couple of our sponsors. Budweiser, Candlewood Suites, Black Dog Toe Tire and Recovery, Topeka Auto Glass, Complete Chiropractic, Vikings Grill, providing some food here tonight. Great Life, the Kickstart Saloon. Ladies where and gentlemen, the official after party let's put will our be. hands together and honor these two warriors who are six. These two, uh, these two young men are 16 years old. 16, oh wow. school guys, let's give it up for them. I thought they were 17. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that they are 16 years old, this was an exhibition match. Therefore, they are both winners. Awesome experience for these guys.